In this application, we will grind a pre-milled rock sample in an agate grinding bowl with agate grinding balls. In this first step, we used an 80 milliliter grinding bowl with five grinding balls, each measuring 20 millimeter in diameter. It is possible to use two 80 milliliter grinding bowls on top of each other. This way, you can grind a sample with different grinding materials or even different samples simultaneously. Otherwise, use the special adapter for grinding bowls. In the first grinding step, the instrument is now set to run with 650 rotations per minute for 60 seconds. To achieve an even finer result, we add liquid to the sample, in this case alcohol, but every liquid that doesn't damage the sample and has a high boiling point with a low viscosity can be used. The perfect mixture should have a viscosity like motor oil. Always make sure that the sealing ring and the grinding bowl rim are clean and free of any sample. The instrument is now set to run with 650 rotations per minute for 60 seconds with three repetitions. In between are two minute pauses. These pauses are required to let the sample cool down and counteract a possible development of an overpressure in the bowl. Now carefully open the safe lock system in case an overpressure developed in the grinding bowl. We measured the particle size of the sample with the Fritsch Analyzer 22 Next and now we know that 90% of the sample volume is smaller than 30 microns. Smaller grinding balls are now added to the sample to get an even finer result. Again, make sure the sealing ring and the grinding bowl rim are clean and free of any sample. For the last step, the instrument is now running with the same settings, but with nine repetitions. This long grinding time, in combination with the small grinding balls, is required to get a finely ground sample. And now, we have a finely ground rock sample with 90% of the sample volume smaller than 6 microns using the Fritsch Planetary Mill Pulver Set 6 Classic Line. <laughs>